I'm Ivan Gaten, and I'm from the Humanitarian OpenStreetMap team, and I wish I could be here beside Leka. What I'd like to talk to you about for a moment is why we think it's so important for the drone community to be able to work in Tanzania and to, and to, to work together with them, and for them to support our work and vice versa. Now, what does Humanitarian OpenStreetMap team do here? Our primary project is Ramani Huria, our map in Swahili, which is a project to do community mapping, to use community mapping, local people, local capacity, local devices, local knowledge, open knowledge, to map the city in ways that could be done by professional expensive surveyors, but practically speaking cannot. Dar es Salaam is a mega city, over five and a half million people, growing at five and a half percent a year, but there are neighborhoods within Dar es Salaam that are estimated to be growing at 20 percent a year. That is a four-year doubling period. Now imagine that. The census here is done once every 10 years. The last one was in 2012. That means for most of the time, the census is actually not especially relevant. Because it, when you have a neighborhood with a 20% growth rate, three or four years after the census is taken, it doesn't reflect what's happening in the neighborhoods. Now, what does humanitarian open street map team in Romani Huria actually do to, to fight against, uh, against flooding and to actually promote resilience. Well, what we do is we map where people are, we map the assets that they have in their community, we map the threats and the vulnerabilities that they have, and we work with them then, and others work with them, to use that information to build resilience, to do crisis response, to send the ambulance, to send the responders, to, to understand where the patients are coming from the health centers, to do the urban planning, to mitigate the flooding. Now, in order to do that, we need to be able to digitize the buildings. Now, satellite imagery is, has been our primary go-to for since HOT was conceived back in 2009. But increasingly, and certainly in Dar es Salaam, I can say in 2018, we have shifted from satellite imagery being our primary source of digitization to drones being our primary source of digitization. What do drones give us that satellites and aerial imagery don't? Well, if you've got an area with a four-year doubling period, you need to digitize it more than once every 10 years. In fact, you need that imagery to be renewed ideally every six months. The change sets that are required to understand the population change and where people live and work and reside, you need to do that frequently. Fixed wing aerial aircraft are expensive if they're manned. Uh, we, can, we, can, we can use that imagery, but you can't renew that sufficiently frequently. Certainly not in the way you can with a drone. So it's not a coincidence that most of the current digitization that we are doing to draw the features in the buildings before we go and do the actual field mapping is from drone imagery. And we're getting it from people like Tanzania Flying Labs and Africa Drone and Uhuru Labs and the World Bank and the people who are actually operating drones here locally. Now, a drone, when properly operated, can produce really quick imagery. It can produce 3D meshes which help us to do flood modeling. It can produce imagery which reflects what's happening in the now. And so we can actually respond to what this neighborhood looks like now, not the last time the satellite passed over. Satellite imagery in some cases can renew quite quickly, but it's never going to be the, quite the resolution that we need. In the center of a city where you have large high rises, these don't change that quickly. But in informal areas where you often have shacks that are kind of almost overlapping and very tightly packed and the, and the footways and the footpaths and the roadways are difficult to ascertain from the air or to, to see from the air, this is where drone imagery really shines and we really need it. So in order for us to, to help build a better life for the people of Tanzania, we need the drones to be working together with us. We need us to be going in the field and actually feeding back to the drone operators where are the right places to be. We need the drone operators to be taking the imagery there and helping us to understand in turn where we need to go back. It's a positive, virtuous cycle of reinforcement where we each of our data complements the other and allows us to draw the better picture, the best possible picture of what's happening in the country. Now, what does HOT want? What are we calling for here? We're calling for a favorable regulatory regime whereby local people in Tanzania can operate the drones. Now, we are grateful and excited about the experts and the professionals who come here with their expensive equipment and do drone imagery capture, but what we really dream of seeing is that the university students at the University of Dar es Salaam and Ardi University here locally are able to gather their own imagery. We're looking for indigenous people. We're looking for the people who live here already to be able to participate as equal partners in the mapping of their own homes. And this will become possible if we support not only the knowledge, not only the technology, but the regulatory and legislative regime that encourages local people to get involved here. So we are strongly asking 
for all of all of Tanzania and the international community to support how can we ensure that there's a regulatory regime that keeps people safe, that respects privacy, but creates the soil in which the in which the growth of the local drone imagery capacity grows. The people of Tanzania are brilliant. I'm working with the people here who are from this country, who are building drones, who are flying drones, who are innovating, who are doing things better, faster, cheaper, the way NASA always dreamed of doing it. And all they need is the safe, encouraged space where they can grow. The soil in which this capacity will grow is a favorable legislative or regulatory regime. And we are calling for that on behalf of the people of Tanzania such that they can have better, more resilient communities through community mapping and the power of drones for all.